Yes. <laughs> kitchen and this level mainly would have been used by the enslaved on property. This level would definitely not be for public view. Um, the fall winter kitchen is of course where all of that food that I talked about upstairs is being cooked. This part is much too small to cook all of that food. It is also actually in the wrong location with all of those chimneys that I for all those fireplaces that I talked about earlier being in between rooms. This hearth downstairs would have used the same central chimney, so it would be along the same wall. And to cook all of that food, it would much uh, more likely go out to the end of this wall here and the break in the floor there. So much larger space to cook as much food as they were eating here. Your head chef would have been an enslaved woman. The lady of the house would potentially be coming down periodically to make sure that uh, she is doing as she's told. But for the most part, she's working down here from before sunrise to after sunset to get all of that food cooked. It would get very hot down here, not only for the person cooking, but it would also get hot upstairs for everyone living up there. Of course, heat rises. So in the summer, in the warmer months, there would likely be some sort of outdoor summer kitchen where food would be cooked um, on a hot day like today. We have the cooking spit set up outside, but it's more likely there would have been a separate building. That said, we don't have any land surveys from when Nicholas lived here. Uh, our earliest land survey is from 1803. That shows two other buildings on property, one of which has two chimneys on it. The building is not labeled, but the chimneys indicate that there is some kind of hearth or fireplace, uh, either used for cooking or as heat in the winter for someone living there. So it potentially uh, could have been a summer kitchen or an enslaved quarters or potentially both. Our enslaved quarters back here uh, would have been mainly for the domestic enslaved. 